Hey everyone, this is Dave with Android Police, and after roughly five minutes of thinking about it, I decided it'd probably be a good idea to uh, demo the Shield uh, PC streaming feature on video because stuff like happens and it's kind of hard to explain in words what all of it is exactly. So um, the PC streaming feature, if you're not familiar with it, it's, it's a combination of NVIDIA's uh, graphics card drivers uh, and some software on Shield and allows you to stream games from a PC connected on your local uh, Wi-Fi network. Uh, it has to be a PC with a uh, GTX 650 or higher NVIDIA graphics card and uh, notebook chipsets are not supported this time. So if you have that, which I happen to have here, a uh, PC with the GTX 760 card, and uh, if you have a Wi-Fi router uh, relatively near you, you can do this with your Shield, and if you have a compatible game. Uh, you can still stream games that don't work, but it doesn't really do much with them. So let me just demo it here real quick. It's actually really easy. So you hit the central button on Shield, and as you can see, I've got a PC right here. That's my computer. I'm going to hit, uh, I've already connected to it before, but the connection process is really easy. If you have the drivers installed on the computer, it should just work. It'll show up on the, uh, on the Shield if they're both connected to the same network. So I connect and I'm connecting to my PC and it does so very quickly if your uh, Wi-Fi is reasonably quick and as you can see I've got Bioshock Infinite here uh, along with just the generic Steam thing. If you launch Steam, which I'll do real briefly here, uh, it actually will go open up your computer and it's opening on my PC right now and it's Steam's big picture mode which is for televisions typically but it works great for Shield. Uh, so you can, you know, see what you've got in your library, and you can launch any game you actually own, uh, even if they're not explicitly Shield compatible. And it doesn't mean they won't work, necessarily, but if they don't support controllers, it's probably a good bet, you know, for example, that Company of Heroes is not going to work with Shield. Uh, the one I'm going to try real quick is Bioshock Infinite, and actually I'm going to go back out of uh, Big Picture Mode here. Uh, because Bioshock Infinite is an officially supported title, so you can launch it directly from uh, the Shield uh, PC games interface. There are, I think, about two or three dozen uh, explicitly supported titles right now, and then there's probably, you know, there, there's probably a big handful more that actually just work uh, for the most part. I was playing Grid earlier, the first Grid. Grid 2 is an officially supported title, but the original Grid is not, and it, it works well enough. The frame rate was a little less than I'd hoped for on Grid, but uh, the game itself worked fine. Uh, so here we got Bioshock Infinite, and uh, let me get you a little bit closer here and see if you can uh, see the frame rate a little better. Uh, the one thing you're going to notice in terms of latency isn't controls and it isn't going to be video. It is the audio, which is a good... I'd say anywhere from two to five tenths of a second off at any given moment, which is you know, regrettable, uh, especially in shooters, because then the gun sounds uh, don't really line up right. But it's totally workable, and it's still pretty impressive regardless. So, loading up uh, into Bioshock Infinite here, and as you can see, I actually just started a new game to mess around with it. Uh, I mean, it, as far as what I'm seeing right here, I'd say on Shield, this is playing at about 40, 45 FPS. Uh, it varies by game. Unsupported titles have much lower frame rates, I find. Uh, Grid, I think, was running at about I mean, maybe 30 FPS. Sometimes it would drop down to about maybe 27 and get up to about 35, depending on where in the game you were. Uh, it's definitely a matter of NVIDIA optimizing their desktop drivers to uh, get a particular title to work well. Because what's happening is actually... If you you know don't understand how this how this works is your graphics card is obviously rendering the game on your computer. This game is up on my PC's uh, display right now, but then what it's doing is it's taking that game as it's rendering it and it's recording it uh, and then streaming that recording back to Shield as a video. So this isn't actually being rendered in any way on Shield. It's, Shield is just receiving an H.264 format video with audio. And that's all that Shield's uh, really doing. It's sending controls back, obviously, uh, but the graphics card is what's doing, you know, all of the real work here. Uh, which is probably why it makes sense that you need an NVIDIA graphics card in order to use, uh, in order to use the game streaming feature. Uh, demonstrate gameplay for a second here, and uh, let's see if I can get this to start. It's not exactly intense combat, but you should get the idea. 
Uh, I mean, the responsiveness is plenty good for a first-person shooter. As you can see, it's really difficult to play a game as your hands are at kind of an awkward angle to uh, fit on the camera here. But uh, you get the gist. I mean, the controls on Shield are great. I, uh, I mean, best this side of an Xbox controller uh, as far as the joysticks are concerned. Uh, but overall, uh, you can see that it's running really well. I am roughly three feet from the router, so that probably helps a little bit. Uh, I did try using it with... I'm using a dual band end router right now. I tried using it with a G router, and even just sitting, you know, I, I'm even less than three feet away from the router right now. Even using the G router about two feet away from me, and that's not an exaggeration, uh, there were occasional frame skips. And you do see a little bit of compression. And as Jeremiah noted in his review, it's typically in dark areas of the game. So uh, there's that. And uh, as far as it, when you go get away from the router, you go further away. This end router works fine, uh, about 15, 20 feet away. I didn't have any more problems than I did sitting next to it, which is, say, really none. And uh, But the G router, I, you can't get far away from that without uh, causing major compression artifacts and major frame skips, and that will just make the game unplayable, basically. So, uh, yeah, that is the PC streaming feature, and let me just show you how easy it is to get back out of it. Uh, you probably think, well, what is this doing to my computer when I like, exit the game? Is my resolution going to be messed up? So you hit exit the desktop, and what happens is uh, Shield uh, talks back to your computer, and your graphics card on your uh, machine says, okay, let's go back to regular resolution, and uh, your computer's back to normal. And that's it. And you can actually, uh, you can quit, you can uh, pause games, basically, in Shield. They won't pause on the PC, like if you hit the home button. Uh, that doesn't just end streaming. You can go back to it uh, by accessing, by hitting the NVIDIA button in the center there, and it'll allow you to resume the game. Uh, you can, I mean, you could obviously pause the game with the start button and then hit the home button and then go back to what you're doing, which is kind of convenient. Uh, it's, it makes for a very smooth experience. And, uh, yeah, that is S.H.I.E.L.D. streaming in a nutshell. Don't want this to go on too long.